Item number SCP-953, Object Class, Keter, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-953 is to be kept in a Type 4 containment cell, 4 meters by 3 meters by 3 meters at the end of Hallway 99 at Site 17. Subject is to be provided the following. 1.5 kilograms of fresh liver daily for consumption, clean drinking water in plentiful quantities, clean bedding, Photon and blankets to be exchanged by the subject and laundered weekly. Small luxury items, plum wine, reading materials, etc. may be provided as an occasional reward for good behavior as part of psychological conditioning. Direct human contact with SCP-953 is strictly forbidden due to SCP-953's mind-altering properties. For this reason, all personnel must be stacked a hundred meters safe zone when the hermetically sealed door is opened. Delivery of food and other items will be carried out by an automated robotic assistant. Should containment fail, SCP-953 can be theoretically terminated by gunfire. However, due to its nature, recognizing SCP-953 may be difficult because of the inadequacy of purely physical containment procedures to control SCP-953, psychological containment is also necessary. For this reason, the approach to SCP-953's containment chamber is to be lined with open door kennels, preferably of the Korean Jindo or American Foxhound breeds. SCP-953 displays an extreme phobia of domesticated canines, and will not pass within 10 meters of one, especially when canines are barking or alerted. SCP-953 is to be considered hostile to human life, dangerous and armed at all times. Any transport must be done under the supervision of at least six armed personnel. Its preferred killing method is a bare-handed strike to the abdomen, penetrating the abdominal cavity and removing the liver, which it will later consume. If given time, however, it will choose to linger over its kill, torturing its victim, as it seems to enjoy the infliction of pain upon another sentient being. Description SCP-953 is a female red fox, approximately 8 kilograms in weight, with a spine that splits around the 26th vertebra into 9 separate tails. Subject displays polymorphic properties, however, allowing it to take the form of various other objects and beings, most commonly an attractive Korean female. Note, unlike SCP-1540, SCP-953 appears to retain some control over its polymorphic capabilities. Subject will display some bovine aspect, ears, tail, paws, eyes, fur, voice, mannerisms, in all its alternate forms. This can serve to identify the subject should it attempt disguise or throw SCP-953 or attempt to conceal its tails through clothing and other methods. In addition to polymorphic abilities, SCP-953 displays moderate level psionic abilities, namely suggestion and telepathy. Or though insufficient to fool an outside observer, an entranced subject can be convinced of a variety of false facts, including the nature of SCP-953, its own nature, and the nature of things around it. SCP-953 has used this in the past to, among other things, deceive police officers, investigating reports of loud screams from a hotel room, convince a mother to roast and eat her own child, carry out acts of necrophilia upon Agent Ramsey's fiancé, in full view of said agent, and succeed in systematic murder of 27 attendees of Lifcon 2000 Beep. Addendum 1. Prior History SCP-953 has been encountered by the SCP Foundation and its predecessors numerous times, with both the first encounter having taken place in Busan, Korea, shortly after the Second World War. To date, SCP-953 has escaped and been recovered six times, resulting in the deaths of Beep SCP agent during various incidents. 
after its latest escape, SCP-953 was not heard from over deep years, until suddenly resurfacing in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on June 2000 beep, at IFCON 2000 beep, which it had been attending in the guise of a very enthusiast. Before being captured, SCP-953 carried out over two dozen murders of conventional staff and attendees, more than during any other single incident to date. The mutilated bodies were found in various places throughout the hotel, including inside the mattress, hanging from the shower curtain, and served as a main course at a hotel banquet. Surviving attendees were administered Class A amnestics and released from Foundation custody. Foundation personnel assigned to capture SCP-953 after this latest incident noted that the subject appeared listless and apathetic and did not resist capture. No further casualties have resulted from SCP-953 from that date. Addendum 2, Special Emergency Order a misidentification of a species tends to violently agitate SCP-953. All personnel are to be hereby ordered to refer to her as a kumio, not a kitsune. Personnel asking what the difference is are to be reminded of the difference between a Cherokee Indian and a New Delhi Indian. 5 beep. Addendum 3. Personnel Staffing Revision Following the unfortunate and completely preventable death of Agent Gallagher, any personnel found to have current or prior ties to the ferry or otaku communities are to immediately be assigned to other projects. 05 Beep Addendum 4 Folkloric Control Procedures As a reminder, staff assigned to SCP-953 are to follow all instructions for interacting with the subject, no matter how odd or arbitrary they may seem. Keep in mind that the people of Asia interacted with these beings for centuries before we came onto the scene. What we think of as fairy tales were their version of special containment procedures. 05 Beep Items SCP-106 and SCP-953 Note the following incident occurred during a dual containment breach of SCP-106 and SCP-953. Tissue test record, not applicable. Termination log, SCP-106 and SCP-953 both break into 682's containment. There is no indication either item did this deliberately. Once the three items became aware of the other's presence, or ceased movement and regarded each other with Visible hostility resulting in a stalemate. 106 broke this stalemate by luring itself through the floor, then attempting to apprehend 953, who responded by latching itself on 682. All three items were presumably transported to 106's pocket dimension. After a period of five hours, all three items manifested back in 682's containment chamber, bearing heavy wounds from prolonged combat. 106 was the first to leave the area, returning to its containment cell. MTF teams deployed in preparation for the return of the items were able to apprehend 953. 682 had its body mass reduced by 67%, but has since recovered. Note, I'm amazed all three are still alive, bearing 682. 953 won't talk about what happened, and neither will 682. I can only assume it was brutal judging from their injuries. Measures are being taken to ensure this never happens again, and we got really lucky. If 106 hadn't taken the other two into the pocket dimension, this could have resulted in hundreds of casualties. 056